Ooh. Welcome to That's Good Sports. I am Brandon. My biggest mistake in the last five years was thinking life would be okay as a Broncos fan without Peyton Manning. Perna. Now, a little while ago, I read this Bleacher Report article about the worst or dumbest move. Ah, yes, there it is. About every NFL team's biggest mistake of the past five years. And today, I thought we could react to that article and see if you agree or disagree with Bleacher Report. They bring up some good points, but also whiff, just like some of the teams they're critiquing. So let's revisit the past as you prepare for a new season of hope in the NFL. Let's get it, sports. Hey, if you want to know what your biggest mistake will be in the next five years, subscribe to this YouTube channel. I do have big dick Patreon shoutouts for new patrons, Vals, Valley S, upping to a hundred and nine dollar yearly donation, Alex Lopez, Tim C, Shaka B, Gordon Mayhall, Matt Suez, Kedzior, Fitz on the Fritz, Tyler Woodson, Nick Sabater, Leezer, Ya Boy Lettuce, upping to five dollars a month. Keegan underscore chocolate underscore T hundred sixty nine. Lick my girthy clit. Okay, let's uh, keep the names to things that won't demonetize my videos. Well, I guess you you paid me. Fair enough. And Leon Slav. Patreon.com slash that's good sports. That's how you support this YouTube YouTube channel. That's how you pay for my speech therapy classes. Okay, let's take a look at every team's biggest mistake of the last five years, starting with the Arizona Cardinals. Bleacher Report says, drafting Hassan Reddick. Mm, this just feels incorrect, especially for a player that was talented enough to put up 12 and a half sacks last season. To me, their dumbest move will always be spending the 10th overall pick on Josh, nine mistakes ahead of me, Rosen. Uh, couple that with hiring uh, what was his, uh, Steve Wilkes? Yeah, let's go with that. Those were disastrous decisions, but credit to them, they recognized their mistake and corrected them immediately. Something we can all learn from. Starting tomorrow, this show gonna be good. Then we've got the Atlanta Falcons. Bleach Report says, failing to end the Dan Quinn era sooner. I disagree. Failing to call a better second half in the Super Bowl against the Patriots, not only your biggest mistake of the last five years, but probably gonna be looked at in franchise history. All you had to do to win that game was hand off more in the second half, Atlanta. That's all. The Baltimore Ravens, biggest mistake, extending Joe Flacco. I agree that this was a dumb move. And just to clarify, this was not the first extension after the Super Bowl, which was the only move the Ravens could have made at the time. It was the second three year, $66.4 million extension. The Ravens released Trent Dilfer after he won them a Super Bowl. Imagine if they had done the same with Flacco after a perfect playoff run and a Super Bowl MVP. Also, good luck finding a franchise quarterback at the end of the draft. <laughs> oh. Never mind, you might have played that all right. Buffalo Bills, biggest mistake, drafting Cody Ford. Should have drafted Cody Chevy. <laughs> now I don't think drafting an offensive lineman in the second round is ever a dumb move, even if they don't really work out. Sure, they could have had Dalton Reisner or Elkton Jenkins a couple picks later, but it's not like the Raiders taking Cleveland Farrell. For me, the dumbest move the Bills have made is not deactivating Cole Beasley's Twitter account. <laughs> if you want to zero in on the 2019 draft, Ed Oliver hasn't lived up to his ninth overall selection, but he was the best player available at the time. Now this sort of ties to Ford, but the Bills' biggest mistake will be not getting a solid rushing attack to support Josh Allen and that offense. So maybe Devin Singletary and Zach Moss, but I'm gonna let 2021 play out for those guys. The Carolina Panthers. Letting Cam Newton walk. I disagree. Did Bleacher Report watch Cam Newton play for the Patriots last season? Did they? 
I know Teddy Bridgewater wasn't very good and everyone is iffy about uh, Sam Darnold and the fact that they passed on Justin Fields, but the mistake was not letting Cam Newton go. He had been injury prone his last couple of years in Carolina, and I think 2020 proved he's probably not going to get any better at this point. Their mistake may have been signing Teddy Bridgewater, who they are now paying to start in Denver. Chicago Bears, yes, trading up for Mitch Trubisky. This is a strong agree by me, uh, no other way around it. Not only did they spend the second overall pick on Trubisky, they traded up one spot to get him. One spot with a team who wasn't gonna take him. Not to mention the guys they passed up on behind Trubisky. Yeah, uh, some guy named Deshaun Watson and Patrick Mahomes. Although we'll be revisiting Deshaun Watson later in this episode. But if the Watson allegations end up being true, then suddenly the Bears draft pick of Mitch Trubisky, not really that bad. Cincinnati Bengals, biggest mistake, drafting John Ross. You can be as fast as you want in the NFL, but it doesn't make you a good wide receiver. The Bengals learned that with John Ross, who they took with the ninth overall pick in 2017. Ross was literally the fastest player in combine history, and that got him taken one pick ahead of Patrick Mahomes. Of course, how could the Bengals have taken Patrick Mahomes when they already had Andy Dalton? That just wouldn't make sense. As does starting Andy Dalton ahead of Justin Fields. The Cleveland Browns, biggest mistake? Hiring Freddie Kitchens. I disagree. That hiring led to getting Kevin Stefanski, the Browns, savior. Keeping a coach that went 1-15 and 0-16 and and is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of in any sport. You let Hugh Jackson in there long enough to the point where he had to baptize himself in the waters of Lake Erie, just to apologize for his .03 winning percentage. Since they walked away from Kitchens though, this team has been on fire and may look extremely smart if Baker takes them deeper into the postseason or dare I say, even Super Bowl. The Dallas Cowboys, biggest mistake, drafting Zeke in 2016. I disagree, that was smart. It was paying him in 2019. Sure, they could have picked Jalen Ramsey, who went to pick later, but they would have just not paid him like they did with Byron Jones. Zeke was truly special as a rookie running back, nearly putting up 2,000 scrimmage yards in just 15 games. That was an amazing draft pick, the mistake was paying him massive quantities of money, which they did back in 2019, to the tune of a six-year $90 million deal. No wonder they had such a hard time signing Dak. Dallas can thank Denver, though, for saving them from what could have been their biggest mistake, the Denver Broncos, drafting Paxton Lynch. Yes, I agree. Needless to say, uh, they could have just waited until the third round and taken Dak Prescott who was on their draft board. Uh, they did have res reservations about his DUI, but then again, the people who had reservations about his DUI also had DUIs. Paxton Lynch only lasted two full seasons in Denver. Won one game and cried twice on camera. Then we've got the Detroit Lions. Biggest mistake, not firing Matt Patricia after two seasons. Absolutely. But if they fired Matt Patricia, they might not have ended up with Dan Campbell. I'm an asshole. The real mistake was hiring Patricia in the first place. I mean, what did the Lions think? That there's this illustrious history of Belichick disciples succeeding outside of New England? Uh, pencil that in as the real fuck up. They should have never let him in the building. Hell, this team interviewed Mike Rabel and said, no thanks, we want Patricia. They never even thought to interview Frank Reich who was the Colts backup choice after Josh McDaniels betrayed them. Then we've got the Green Bay Packers. Biggest mistake, Aaron Rodgers debacle. Yeah, this is basically synonymous with drafting Jordan Love in the first round. Uh, it's been an all around shit show since then, although things look to be gelling now. But if we're at the point where the reigning league MVP may be playing his final season with the Packers, I have to agree. The Houston Texans, trading DeAndre Hopkins. Yes. 
everything the Texans have done since losing to the Chiefs in the postseason has been wrong. Hopkins, a top three receiver in the NFL, and the Texans traded him away for a second round pick. It didn't even seem like they were shopping him around for very long. I wonder if it's fair to also include hiring Jack Easterby, but Easterby's presence doesn't really feel like a conscious decision any more than having a boa constrictor slowly squeeze the life out of you. The craziest part about the Texans' recent history is the one unanimously great thing they did, draft Deshaun Watson, could also be a massive mistake. Their biggest mistake? Fuck it, drafting Deshaun Watson. Indianapolis Colts, biggest mistake failing Andrew Luck. Mm, I'm going to disagree here. I don't think the Colts failed Luck. At least Chris Ballard didn't. When Luck retired, the Colts had built him a great offensive line and had a solid skill position group around him. I think Luck's retirement was a product of bad fortune. The Colts don't make a lot of mistakes as a franchise, but I think the Carson Wentz trade has the potential to be a big one, especially with a roster that is ready to compete for an AFC title. Instead of failing luck, I think you could point to taking Malik Hooker one pick ahead of Marlon Humphrey. The Jacksonville Jaguars paying Nick Foles in 2019. Mm, I'd say that's wrong. The Nick Foles signing led to a Nick Foles injury which led to Gardner Minshew entering the lineup. How could that be a mistake? The real mistake was jerking Minshew out of the lineup and not trading the number one overall pick and building around the best damn quarterback on that team. Trying to pick the Jags' biggest mistake though is like trying to point out which chicken pock itches the most. Kansas City Chiefs, trading for Frank Clark in 2019. I disagree with that. How can you argue with paying a guy who was a key part of your postseason success? Now I know Clark isn't a good guy and they traded a first for him, but he's not even the worst person in that organization. His eight career sacks in the Chiefs postseason are the most in franchise history. Their biggest mistake, I think that might be drafting McCole Hardman over DK Metcalf. Thinking you could draft a Tyreek Hill clone instead of the biggest beastly receiver in the draft is just plain stupid. Then we've got the Las Vegas Raiders, the John Gruden contract. Yeah, I'm gonna agree. 10 years of John Gruden? 10 years? You can bring up the Khalil Mack trade, the Cleveland Farrell pick, the Abram pick, the Arnett pick, the Antonio Brown trade, but in the end, it all goes back to hiring John Gruden for an entire decade. Here's to five more years of that shit, Las Vegas. The Chargers, leaving San Diego. Now, I don't know if this was a mistake so much as it was a disappointing move. It removed all of the soul from the team, taking it away from fans who cared when the team was good to fans who don't really care regardless. I'd say having team doctors so bad that they stab your quarterback in the lungs with a uh, painkiller needle, but when that happened to Tyrod Taylor, they were forced to start Justin Herbert, and that actually really worked out. Except for Tyrod, of course, who will feel like his lungs are being stabbed every time he takes a snap for the Texans. The Los Angeles Rams, paying Todd Gurley. I disagree, I think it was paying Jared Goff because it seemed like it was pretty easy for them to walk away from the Todd Gurley contract. But like the Cardinals, credit the Rams for realizing their mistake and moving on. Then we've got the Miami Dolphins, trading away Minka Fitzpatrick. Mm, nah, I'm in the middle here. This was definitely one of the few missteps in their rebuild, but we all know what the big mistake could end up being. If Tua falls apart and Justin Herbert continues on his trajectory, it's going to be a misfire that's on par with taking Trubisky over Mahomes and Watson. The big rebuild will be all for naught if they can't find the right quarterback. You know, like the one they let walk this off season? Why do the Dolphins hate all of the Fitzpatrickses? Minnesota Vikings, their biggest mistake, drafting Garrett Bradbury. Who? Oh boy, they drafted the wrong center. Who gives a fuck? The really big mistake the Vikings made recently was not fielding a defense last year. I think Alvin Kamara proved that when he ruined every Viking fan's Christmas. Most recently though, I'd say it was drafting Jeff Gladney. 
who they had to cut after just one season. New England Patriots, biggest mistake, letting Tom Brady go. I mean, I guess this is the easy answer, but unless the Patriots were going to trade for Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Shaq Barrett, and Devin White, I don't think the Patriots were going to do much of anything in 2020, with or without Tom Brady. This is such a lame answer though. It was a pretty mutual decision in 2020 after 20 freaking years for the two sides to depart. Two decades is pretty long, and I think it was just time to move on. Their biggest mistake was not having enough weapons on offense in 2019 when the Titans bounced them in the playoffs. The New Orleans Saints. Trading up for Marcus Davenport in 2018. This one makes sense to me, although you could make the case that not spending a first round pick on Drew Brees' successor, while also paying Taysom Hill $10 million this year, has been negligent. Uh, but this season will prove whether or not that's really a mistake, depending on how Jameis Winston does. Davenport has just 12 sacks through 37 games after being picked 14th overall back in 2018. The Saints might not have learned their lesson considering they spent their 2021 first round pick on Peyton Turner. Again, who? The New York Giants drafting Saquon Barkley? As crazy as that sounds, I agree. I've almost made an entire video about this a couple times and it's not a knock on Saquon. I think he's great, but he has had injuries coupled with the fact that the Giants have just been awful. New York should have traded back away from two with anyone or taken Josh Allen or any of the big playmakers taken top 20 in that draft. Nick Chubb didn't go until pick 35. So New York missed on a huge opportunity to improve multiple areas on their team in a very good draft class by taking Saquon second overall. The New York Jets hiring Adam Gase. Yes, easiest one on the books. Uh, Adam turned Sam Darnold into a surefire mistake and was so bad in 2020 that he couldn't even tank correctly and set the organization up with Trevor Lawrence. Instead, they're going into battle with real life Ken doll Zach Wilson, who did look good in the preseason. He looked like the best QB so far, so maybe it works out. You can also make a case for the signings of Le'Veon Bell and CJ Mosley, but as soon as everyone saw old googly-eyed Gase, we knew his time in New York would be short. Honorable mention goes out to Sam Darnold making out with whoever that was back in September of 2019. She better have been a New York seven, Sam, or a Scranton nine, if you will. The Philadelphia Eagles, biggest mistake, drafting Derek Barnett in 2017. I genuinely don't understand this one at all. I know Barnett hasn't been great, but he was the guy that recovered the fumble that sealed their first Super Bowl in franchise history. How could this be their biggest mistake when they decided it was a good idea to pay Carson Wentz? You could point to dozens of mistakes after that Super Bowl win. And just to point out how bad the money signing was with Wentz, the Eagles have 50 million in dead cap money right now, which is an NFL record heading into a season. The Pittsburgh Steelers drafting Artie Burns in 2016, 25th overall. This pick burns, but it also stings. I don't mind the pick too much. It wasn't great, but I would point to not just getting rid of Big Ben and starting over from scratch, or not doing everything in their power to keep offensive line coach Mike Munchak. In fact, they could have drafted Paxton Lynch instead of Artie Burns, who went one pick behind Artie. The Burns pick looks horrible because the next corner taken was Xavier Howard in the second. But like Minka Fitzpatrick, I am assuming the Steelers believed Miami would be dumb enough to trade Howard to the Steelers as well. But it looks like the Dolphins had learned their lesson. The San Francisco 49ers, dumbest move, 2017. Drafting Solomon Thomas and Reuben Foster at picks three and 31 in the first round. Check and check. The 49ers fleeced the Bears out of the third pick, but ended up making the wrong selection with Solomon Thomas before making a worse decision at 31 with Reuben Foster. And still, this team made the Super Bowl two years later, which is actually pretty incredible. In the five picks behind Solomon Thomas, they could have had playoff Lenny, Corey Davis, Jamal Adams, Mike Williams, 
or Christian McCaffrey. Imagine Kyle Shanahan and run CMC. For as much credit as we give John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan, the GM and head coach, they whiffed on McCaffrey. Kyle Shanahan has ties to the McCaffrey family. John Lynch went to Stanford. Christian McCaffrey went to Stanford. I don't know how they didn't take him there. McCaffrey probably would have a million yards in that offense. A million. The pick right after uh, Reuben Foster, by the way, Ryan Ramchek. The Tennessee Titans. Biggest mistake, drafting Isaiah Wilson. Hard yes, three snaps from a first rounder due to off-field issues. Such a massive whiff on an important position. They traded him to Miami, who should be listed here again as well for taking that trade. Miami then cut Wilson shortly after acquiring him. Isaiah Wilson and Jeff Gladney drafted just two picks apart. Yikes. The Seattle Seahawks uh, drafting every year in the first round. I'm gonna tend to agree with this. It's fair, particularly looking at the Rashad Penny pick back in 2018. That said, I think 2020's first rounder, linebacker uh, Jordan Brooks, is going to be very good this season. Their biggest mistake, in my opinion, is not crafting a top 10 offensive line for Russell Wilson. If you do that, I think they get back to the Super Bowl. Uh, Pete Carroll wants to run the ball a lot, and to do that, you need to be physically dominant up front, which the Seahawks just haven't been. Now, the line is getting better, so the real tragedy is not going with these throwback uniforms every week. Damn, those are pretty. And the Washington football team, biggest mistake? Drafting Dwayne Haskins. Yes, I agree. But I think having no power to actually remove Dan Snyder is a bigger problem, or his wife, whoever the, f whatever Snyder's running the team. And I'm going to say your biggest mistake though was trading for Alex Smith. Not for you, but for poor, poor fucking Alex Smith. And finally, we've got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Bleach Report says their biggest mistake, the 2016 draft. And I agree. Sure, first round corner Vernon Hargraves didn't pan out, but taking a kicker, you eventually cut in the second round in Roberto Aguayo. That seems like something only John Gruden wouldn't criticize. Boom, thanks for watching every team's biggest mistake. I hope you had a wonderful long weekend and are ready for the NFL season to start. Please subscribe here. Click the video on the screen if you wanna watch more and just get ready for me to be talking football at an alarming rate.